Yes. Hi. And welcome to Dance in America. This is the first Dance in America that's entirely devoted to tap dancing, which makes me very happy because I'm a tap dancer. And uh, for me, it's just, it's the easiest way for me to express myself as an artist. You know, uh, sometimes I feel like I can speak better with my feet than I can. I'll show you. <laughs> nah, I'll show you. Anyway, what we're going to deal with tonight is tap dancing now, what's happening today. So, for that purpose, we've invited some of the greatest practitioners of tap dancing happening now. Hey, when are you going back? I'll be going back in a minute. Tap dancers hardly ever get the chance to work together like this on the show. And for us, there's nothing like the sound of our feet talking to each other. So, this was special. We had Tommy Toon and the great Honey Coles, Hinton Battle and Greg Burge, the terrific Savion Glover. I like the jacket. The Masters were there. Bunny Briggs, Buster Brown, Jimmy Sly. And of course, Sandman Sink. Hey, Fred. Okay. How you doing, man? Fred Strickler was also there. <laughs> Brenda Buffalino and the American Tap Dance Orchestra. LaVon Robinson and Jermaine Ingram. Manhattan Tap. Jennifer Lane, Camden Richmond, and Diane Walker. <laughs> Thank you. We'll, we'll be in touch. Yeah, all right. Oh, that's the trouble with them shoes. That's the trouble. The taps is too tight, man. What are you talking about the trouble? That's not the right way. You have to let these taps breathe, like a banjo. Four strings, four taps, four different tunes. Now, what you really need is loosen these taps up. You better let me take these taps and fix them for you. Well, say, man, thank you. I, I, I really appreciate that, I know, but I, I like them tight. Mm -hmm. I do. I was trying to do you a favor, man. That's very nice of you. Thank, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, well, you needed it. The best part of rehearsals is just watching it happen and hearing all kinds of fresh new rhythms. Try to hit it. Right. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, the step. Like it. That's the step of the day. That's so, all right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Tap dancing can sound like a percussion section or a whole orchestra. So the music is too fast. I can hear it. But I'm in the wings. I gotta go on. I know the floor is slippery. So I don't know. Hey, Sandman. How you doing? Sandman. Yes. How are you? All right. Good. All right. Good. So, I'll get back on the wings. No, Tap is sound, no, but it's I also like style. Oh, I like it just like. It was a little My recollection is in the beginning when I started to learn it, as we all did from all these guys, they said, hit it, lay it down, hit it, nail it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, after all these years, they're saying. But you gotta dance like a lady. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I really. It's confusing. It's really confusing. I know. I think I had the biggest trouble I had is with energy. Because I've worked with men so often, you know, over the years, you know, and, and had that struggle of feeling, okay, I'm a small woman, I'm a woman, so I better really lay it down. Oh, yeah. You know, so you have this thing that you've gotta lay it down. Yeah. And I have a lot of energy anyway. And so then I just go, <laughs> you know, it's it becomes so explosive. And that's like a compensation. Uh-huh. Now wanting to be a hooker. Tap dancers always like to challenge each other. It's just part of the tradition. For years, Tommy Toon and I always wanted to learn the classic soft shoe routine of Coles and Atkins. You want to do it? Try one more time. Right. Can you see? Can you see my cufflinks now? Good. Mm. 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 Out there watching us was the master himself, Honey Cole. Hold it, hold it, hold it. That, don't, don't make this such an effort. You know where you go out, bring up, bring up, nonchalant and upright. Make everything as effortless as you possibly can. And you can, you can sweep your leg a little more, Gregory, because Tommy's leg is a little higher than yours. So, you know, sweep the leg. <laughs> Just like one as big as the bit. <laughs> All right, I will, I will take that under consideration. I think it's the big one. <laughs> His leg is that much longer. Jeez. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is good. I like that. Yeah? If that helps you with tempo, I like that. Yeah. Thank As you. a matter of fact, if, if we ever do it again, we'll use that. <laughs> Same man. Trying to do you a favor. I appreciate it. The rhythms are great, man. I like the rhythm. The yeah. thing you were doing this afternoon. But... Uh. That sounded good. That sounded good. Can hardly keep your feet still a lot of times. I know. <laughs> no one is like that. Everybody that you know always has a good feeling about giving something to the dance. What you feel, what you've learned. What you see, you know, it's all a part of your life. You know. I think you're living it beautifully. You're looking good dancing, man. All right? Just keep getting new and better. And keep dancing. All kind of moves. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've seen a lot of great acts like Bunny Briggs and Sandman Sims and Honey Coles and all those mm -hmm. things. You know? They all made their sort of dedication to life and dance. Mm -hmm. You look like you're going to do the same thing. 
I want to. What do you mean by that? That's conversation, huh? Uh -huh. We do our talking with our feet, huh? Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. To me, that's the best way. You know, sometimes you just got to do something for yourself. You know what I'm saying? This is one of those times for me. I just, just want to do something for myself. I came up, uh, I also started when I was about three, and, and by the time I was about seven and eight, or eight, my brother and I, we had a tap back called the Heinz Kids, and we were performing a lot and in nightclubs. And in those days, and maybe even now to some degree, uh, uh, young kids that age, we're always encouraged to smile and perform. And okay. you know, like, yeah, you'd be smiling, <laughs> and then you'd do a step and you'd go, <laughs> and, then, and then maybe you'd look at each other, we'd have to look at each other and go, <laughs> and then you'd be dancing. And, you know, it was very difficult for me right away to do that. It was very difficult for me to smile. You know, I remember my mother would be in the wings, you know, and every time I'd look over there, she'd go, <laughs> trying to encourage me. And I think that, I think that at a very early age, I had to, I, I began to search for what, dancing, what dancing really would bring to my face, a naturalistic expression of what was happening with my feet. Now in those days I would meet with the people like Sandman, Sims, and Honey Coles, and, and uh, Buster Brown, and they would encourage me to make up steps, improvise. I don't think it was until I was in my 30s, in my, in my late 30s, that I began to really relax and, and it was then that I felt like I was starting to approach true expression mm. as a tap dancer. When Gregory dances, what he does is so visible that he, he pulls it from himself. He like reaches deep within his guts yeah. and pulls it out. And you know it's coming from within him. You know it's not a, 
it's not a... You know, one of those sounds really means something. And I asked him if you remember, what does it mean to you? Remember that? Oh, this is what the essence of tap is really all about. It's not so much the steps. I mean, you want your taps to be clean, but to bring yourself and to bring the emotion and make the taps mean something. Mm -hmm. It's far more important to me than just tapping. Mm -hmm. you, know. you know, when I walked in here this evening, Jimmy Slide and Savion were doing something on the stage, and Greg, you looked over to them, you know, was just, just like, yeah, that's it, I like that, you yeah. know, whatever step they were doing, you were, you connected with the step, and they knew that you connected, and you didn't, you know, you didn't have to say anything, it was just within the eye. Yeah. Well, you know, I think that I get, I get very emotional when I see Savion with these men, yeah. because I see, it's not so much that I see myself, mm -hmm. It's just that I see an experience that I had of, of being around these men, and I know he loves them, as I love them. It's just sort of like watching a movie or something. I just can't believe it, you know, that, I, that the time has gone so quickly, and here I am, you know, and then here he is, and the process perpetuates itself. Tap dancing is something that's passed on, from old to young friend to friend, from feet to feet. Now we could have gone on like this for days, dancing for each other. But we had an audience to entertain, and it was the best kind of audience. They were all tap dancers. Ladies and gentlemen, Broadway's best. Hinton Battle and Greg Bird.
Don't go away. The show has just begun. And please, take a minute to call your local station and make a pledge to support Dance in America and other great performances on public television. And now, back to the show. Gregory Hines tap Dance in America. One of the many new ensemble groups springing up around the country, Manhattan Tap. There's a lot of experimentation going on with tap dancing today, and some of it is with classical music. So now, here to perform the finale from Benjamin Britten's Simple Symphony is Mr. Fred Strickler.
Ben Taft. That's Jennifer Lane. on taps and Tom Dannenberg on bass. Gonna do it. Do what? What are you talking about? You couldn't about? go out there and dance with them tight taps on your shoes. You got to let them taps breathe. Give Sammy, me I'm getting fix. ready to go on. I got to say, I can fix them right away for you, man. I got to go. Oh. All right, all right, so, uh, so let's do something uh, pre rehearsed, okay? <laughs> okay. So, so, ha, 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 ha.
Linda Buffalino and the American Tap Dance Orchestra.
our one and only Mr. Honey Cole. Ladies and gentlemen, the fastest taps in the business, Jermaine Ingram and LaVon Robinson. kept secrets in tap dancing is that we steal each other's steps and that's what we do we just we just rip off each other's steps <laughs> anytime you see somebody do a really great step you take it you try to shape it and make it a little different and uh, we're all very fortunate tonight because we have masters here they have masters right honey I'm very happy to introduce them tonight so we first have mr. bunny Briggs <laughs> mr. Jimmy Sly Mr. Buster Brown. Buster Brown. And last but not least, Mr. Sandman Sims. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. Yeah. All right, shall I set it?
Ladies and gentlemen, the tradition lives on. The 15-year-old Dynamo, Savion Glover. Thank <laughs> you.